USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, has been facing huge backlogs and slow processing times for green card applications. The family and employment-related visas, causing some applicants to wait months or even years for a final decision. You might be aware of the one of the options to push your application using premium processing. We have seen in past May of the time USCIS make the necessary changes for premium processing to help immigrants to push their cases and like to earlier, we have received some updates on premium processing. Visit us at Southern V channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now let's get into the video and find out what's new in US immigration. As we know, Premium processing provides expedited processing for Form I-129, Petition for Non-Immigrant Worker, and Form I-140, Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker, for a fee. USCIS guarantees that they will take some adjudicative action on the case within 15 calendar days for most classifications or 45 calendar days for Form I-140, E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager and Form I-140, E-21 National Interest Waiver Classifications, or they will refund the premium processing fee and will continue with expedited processing. If we look at the eligibility of the premium processing, USCIS allows, Form I-129, Petition for Non-Immigrant Worker, it includes visa types such as Dash. 1. Visa Category E, for example, E-1, E-2, and E-3. 2. Visa Category H, for example, H-1B, H-2B, and H-3. 3. Visa Category L, for example, L-1A, L-1B and L-1 Blanket or LZ. 4. Visa Category O, for example, O-1 and O-2. 5. Visa Category P, for example, P-1, P-1S, P-2, P-2S, P-3, P-3S. 6. Visa Category Q1, 7. Visa Category R1, 8. Visa Category TN1 and TN2. The other category where premium processing is allowed is Form I-140, Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker. 1. Visa Category E11, E12 and E13. 2. Visa Category E21. 3. Visa Category E31 and E32. 4. Visa Category EW3. Beginning June 1, 2022, we began phasing in premium processing for E13 multinational executives and managers. On July 1, 2022, we began phasing in E21 petitions seeking a National Interest Waiver, NIW, and additional E13 multinational executive and manager petitions. Now let's look at what us is to implement next phase of premium processing for certain previously filed EB-1 and EB-2 Form I-140 petitions. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services is implementing the next phase of the premium processing expansion for certain petitioners who have a pending Form I-140, Immigrant Petition for Alien Workers, under the EB-1 and EB-2 classifications. Similar to the first phase and second phase of the expansion, this phase only applies to certain previously filed Form I-140 petitions under an E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager Classification or E-21 Classification as a member of professions with advanced degrees or exceptional ability seeking a National Interest Waiver, NIW. Petitioners who wish to request a premium processing upgrade must file Form I-907, Request for Premium Processing Service. Beginning September 15, 2022, USCIS will accept Form I-907 requests for E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager Petitions Received on or before January 1, 2022, and E-21 NIU Petitions Received on or before February 1, 2022. USCIS will reject premium processing requests for these Form I-140 classifications if the receipt date is after these dates. It will 45 days to take an adjudicative action on cases that request premium processing for these newly included Form I-140 classifications. We will not accept new, initial, Forms I-140 with a premium processing request at this time. Here are a few questions which are answered. Can the beneficiary of a visa petition seek premium processing? No, 
except in cases where the petitioner is eligible to file a self-petition, that is, the petitioner and the beneficiary are the same. Otherwise, only the petitioner, or the attorney or representative who has filed Form G-28, Notice of Entry of Appearance as Attorney or Accredited Representative, on behalf of the petitioner, may request premium processing for a designated petition. While the petitioner, beneficiary, attorney, or representative, however, may pay the premium processing service fee, the beneficiary cannot sign or file Form I-907. How do you file a request for premium processing? As the petitioner, or attorney or representative, you must complete and sign Form I-907, Request for Premium Processing Service. If you are filing Form I-907 together with Form I-129 or Form I-140, you must file both forms according to the Form I-129 instructions or Form 140. If you have already filed Form I-129 or Form I-140 and you now wish to request premium processing, file Form I-907 with the service center where your Form I-129 or Form I-140 is currently pending, along with a copy of the Form I-797, Receipt Notice, for your Form I-129 or Form I-140. If we transferred your petition to another service center and you received a transfer notice, is us as placing any conditions of availability on premium processing for Form I-140 petitions? Yes, premium processing is available for the Form I-140 classifications indicated on the charts above. Please review to determine your eligibility to either upgrade a pending E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager or E-21 NEU petition, or to submit an initial E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager or E-21 NEU petition. Will this also expedite my Form I-539, application to extend slash change non-immigrant status, if I submit it with my Form I-129? Premium processing is not available for Form I-539 applications at this time. Please note that as a matter of procedure, we do not typically process a Form I-539 at the same time as the principal Form I-129. Does this program have any effect on us as previous expedite practices? Yes. In general, discretionary expedite requests will no longer be available for classifications designated as eligible for premium processing. However, petitioners designated as not-for-profit entities by the IRS have the choice to request discretionary expedited service as they have in the past, or they may choose to pay the premium processing service fee and use that service. How will us manage those categories that have an annual limit in relation to this faster processing? Individuals who pay for premium processing on petitions filed for non-immigrant classifications that are subject to annual numerical, cap, limits will not have an unfair access to these limited immigration programs. If necessary, USCIS will apply a random selection process to all petitions received on the final receipt date for cap subject H-1B, H-2B and H-3 petitions, regardless of whether premium processing is requested. USCIS will adjudicate these randomly selected cases and will reject and return the fees for any unselected cases, as well as cases that were filed after the final receipt date. Can I contact a USCIS service center if I have not filed a request for premium processing but have questions about the program? Once you have filed Form I-907 for your underlying Form I-129 or Form I-140, you may contact the service centers directly. Please note that the toll-free number and email address listed on the receipt notice for the Form I-907 are only for users who have already submitted a request for premium processing. How do I contact the service center concerning a premium processing service request that I filed? The unique mailing address for each of the service centers is listed on the Form I-907 instructions. We will provide additional contact information for each service center on your receipt notice. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!